prosecution in the U.S. As a result of this program, some banks may not even have to admit any wrongdoing for their misconduct. Indeed, these financial institutions will simply pay fines on the illicit accounts they hold, a mere slap on the wrist for their role in concealing billions of dollars from the U.S. Treasury and a payment that may be deemed by banks wishing to engage in similar wrongdoing as an acceptable cost of doing business. As a result of offshore tax haven practices by Credit Suisse and other financial institutions as recently as 2011, it has been estimated that the United States has been deprived of $337.3 billion in potential revenue, the largest amount of revenue lost due to tax evasion in the world. With this in mind, the Justice Department should be relentless in continuing its investigations into foreign banks such as Credit Suisse and seek penalties that reflect the severity of their wrongdoing, disgor disgorge them of their wrongful gains, make aggrieved taxpayers whole, and effectively deter similar misconduct in the future. It's past time to fully and clearly <coughs> expose how offshore tax haven banks help American account holders evade paying their taxes. I want to thank the witnesses for appearing before their subcommittee today, and I look forward to their testimony, and I want to thank Senator Coburn for his incredibly important efforts in this investigation and his work on the PSI. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you so much, uh, Senator McCain. As I mentioned, this has been a lengthy investigation uh, lasting uh, well over two years, and until January of last year, uh, the ranking member of our subcommittee it was Dr. Coburn, so he and his staff played a major role in the early uh, part of this investigation, a very important part of the investigation, and so I now call on him as the ranking member of our full committee, but the former ranking member of the subcommittee. Uh, welcome back to our subcommittee, Dr. Coburn. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and uh, Senator McCain. Uh, I have a, a statement for the record that I'd ask you to consent to be put in, but I'd make, a, make an observation for the American public.